everybody. This is uh, Brian here. I'm here with National Master Ruben Undungan. Hi, a... everyone. <laughs> National Master Ruben Undungan in the top 1% of the United States Chess Federation. Definitely a great player <clears throat> and a great teacher. If you've seen his uh, YouTube lectures, they're very brilliant and I've learned a lot from him. And um, if you guys live in the LA area, anyone listening to this, he does teach one-on-one. -on -one. And um, he also teaches on Skype. And he's also a public speaker too. So if anybody here um, wants him to speak at his company, he's got a range of topics that he likes to talk about all related to chess. And it's really fun. And I'm sure that, you know, he can give a simul to or play a game with one of your employees. And all his contact information can be found at, where, where can they find you at? www.discover-chess.com. There it is, www.discover-chess.com. And um, that's where you can find all his information. So um, what we're going to do today is we're going to go over a game that he and I played. And I think this is how chess players best learn, like when they analyze the games that they just played. And uh, hopefully um, through our conversation, we can learn some stuff and also impart some information to you viewers out there. Okay, so um, this is the game that we're playing right now. Uh, we, we played this about a week ago. I played the white pieces and Ruben played the black pieces and um, Since he's a master I played it super safe. I played the Kali system <laughs> and uh, you can tell he's kind of laughing here because he can kind of <laughs> Tell that's what I was doing. Okay, so let's um Let's dive right into it. So I played the d4 opening and he played um, Knight f6. Knight f6. Okay, and then Knight f3. Knight f3 and it's very simple what I'm doing right here I'm gonna put my bishop here in castle so, so Ruben, what opening are you doing right now? Like, um... it's a common uh, classical approach against the Kali, but mm -hmm. if you have uh, retreated one more move, perhaps you could play Bishop F4, mm -hmm. which is more active the London system, or Bishop ah, G5, I see. Victoria the, right type. here. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I see. So it's more lively game. This is one. This game is also good. The Kali system, the world's number one authority right now, mm -hmm. is uh, the former German and uh, former Russian and now German uh, German grandmaster Arthur Yusupov. Mm -hmm. So let's okay. go on. Let's go on. Okay. C five was correct. And in such type of position, mm -hmm. uh, Black should immediately create tension in the center. So I see. C5 that was the idea. purpose. Mm -hmm. Okay, got it. Let's see, and then I'm moving bishop here. It's correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Extremely safe, extremely safe. <laughs> Very good. Knight C6. Okay, knight C6. Simple development move, yes. I'm guessing, control in center too. Uh, pressure, pressure on D4. The okay. So you should play either uh, C3 here, mm -hmm. or maybe even castle. Is even castle, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I just castle here. Yeah, let's see. Let's fast forward a little so bit. Hold this on. Yeah. Type of yes. Yeah, oh, actually, yeah, they you played erected C3, yeah. what we call a triangle mm -hmm. approach. And you pushed here too. D six, mm -hmm. so that uh, when bishop is developed, though. Ah, you're gonna epic, you're gonna fan shadow it. Yeah. I can capture with the b takes c five. If you decided to capture d takes c five, mm -hmm. this is normally when uh, white players wait for black to develop bishop and only then capture c five. So therefore. Black will lose two tempo just to capture the pawn on c5. Mm -hmm. That was the idea. That's why b6 is played multi-purpose move. It contains also the idea of bianchetto. Exactly. Yeah. Should be seven. Got it. Which is what you did. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> so played it safe with the castle. Let's see what you did here. Um, let's fast forward. Probably a queen c7 or bishop. Oh yeah, yeah, getting ready to castle, right? Yeah. And let's see, um, did I take correctly here? I think I took with the pawn, right? Was that the correct continuation or what, what, well, what do you think? I believe e4 is uh, too early. Oh, I and played this, this too early? Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. That's why I was able to transpose the game in Sicilian channel. And, mm. and if you are playing the Kali, you need to be familiar with transposition at this point mm -hmm. in time because uh, black can always transpose to uh, move order you transpose it to a sicilian that is more familiar i see for black okay and you've lost the flavor of the coli after this after actually. this oh, okay you're yeah. on your own it's exactly so yeah. <laughs> but it's the game mm -hmm. is still about equal i mean here knight mm -hmm. b4 is good but i decided just to simply develop 
And and I hate this bishop because it's just an assassin. It's just well, scoping down here. And if you try to play e5, I have a bishop's diagonal. If you try mm -hmm. to play d5, then uh, it's, it's a bad move because of just simple capture. Mm -hmm. So here I just play flexible moves. The other line here, instead of bishop b7, is knight b4. Now knight c3 is played. And compared to uh, ordinary call system, mm -hmm. uh, the knight normally arrives on b2 here. It's more active on c3. So the game is about roughly even at this point. I think what I was thinking here at this point was I wanted to block your bishop in. I think I pushed here. I'm not sure. Wait, hold on. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I did. Um, and just, I think, yeah, there it yeah, is. Hold on. Let me just go. make sure. I just want to make sure I didn't move. Okay. And and uh, I think my idea was here. I knew that this, you know, when I recaptured this pawn would only mm -hmm. be temporary. And I was hoping that I would have enough time to move all my pieces here and mate you. That was my plan. That's is, a strong move. D5 is, that, uh, is a strong move because uh, it, it attacks the knight, mm -hmm. it blocks the bishop. It creates a problem in the center because the ki black king is still uh, in the center. So. Mm -hmm. The rule of thumb here is to open the position mm -hmm. for white. It's in your pay on your table. Correct. Yeah, and it will open up my bishop too open once I take. Yeah. yeah. So that was my plan. Mm -hmm. yeah, this is a dangerous position now for for black. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I believe here you have at least a slight advantage. Slight advantage. Okay. Yes. Interesting. Well, why why were you hesitating when you when you? Well. Your bishop will be open, that will give you uh, danger in uh -huh. castling the king side, but there's no choice after this. So. Why, why not lock it up? Why not just push? Uh, you oh, yeah, the knight knight, nice, sorry. <laughs> that was stupid. Yeah, alright. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I think I recaptured here, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yes. Okay, and then you gotta move your knight. I out was of the hesitant way. of uh, trying to play knight b4. Now, now, a lot of people will look at this Ruben and say, oh, Ruben, that's such a bad move. You're undeveloping. What are your thoughts on that? Well, uh, I want to develop the knight. Over here, right? To this d7, so yeah. you can go to c5. Ah, uh, so you're just rerouting it. Now that I'm looking mm -hmm. at the position, I could probably win a pawn by knight b4, but it's such a dangerous position because I'm behind the development. For example, knight b4 looks enticing, mm -hmm. but actually it's a blunder. Why is that? Queen A for check. That was my first uh, intention. But you can move it. Oh no. You can, you can, you can move it. Oh no, because yeah, right. Yeah. The pawn, yeah. Okay. That, that, Ooh, that's my yeah. first original idea to play uh, before, but then I see you saw oh, the queen check. King yeah. was still in the center. So <laughs> that's now, it. that's why I was hesitant earlier. Got it, got it. Makes sense. So, okay. So now right. I have to find a different plan. Alright, let's see what I was thinking here. Let me see if I can remember what I was thinking. I think. I think hold on. white what did is I do better here, here now mm -hmm. at this point. Because the two bishops are just yes, yes, yeah, right there in front of the enemy king. So let's fast forward a little bit because I think I took a lot of time here. Um, okay, yeah, this was a stupid move. I don't know why I did this. Yeah, yeah. You, you should not remove the because bishop. I gave you an extra tempo, right? I mean, because you could just yeah. No, you you remove the bishop from a very active, active square, D3, exactly. D3 square. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's always watching the king castle. So the what is the correct move here? Yeah, I believe rook e one. Rook e1 uh, instead of bishop b5 uh, to force the king mm -hmm. to castle and then you can start thinking of uh, grandiose sacrifices. I don't, <laughs> I don't remember what I was thinking here. I, I So here is, is uh, yeah. you helped me here a bit. But but then I remember later on in the game I kind of figured you would push and I could reroute my knight, I mean my bishop back here and then create the battery. Yeah. That's what I was, yeah. Good okay, move. so I That's just kind move. of, yeah. And then you just castled, okay. The castling here is safe because of the bishop uh, far from the h7. So you see now the why bishop b5 was a slight uh, a mistake. Yeah, it was definitely, yeah, definitely. Bishop is needed on the diagonal Correct, uh, yeah. b1 to h7. It's just one of those moves that... Uh... Okay, so what are your thoughts on taking here? Not force. Instead of capturing too, mm -hmm. too soon, maybe you should uh, start playing rook e1 first and then queen d3 mm -hmm. or queen d3 immediately. I, I, you know, I believe rook e1 is much more stronger. I think I remember what I was thinking. I was thinking to capture here to release the square, but remember, I did forgot you had a backup knight here. Backup yeah, knight exactly. Knight. So, you see, it's <laughs> like your Black's, lecture today. Yeah, yeah black yeah. position are stepping on each other, so uh -huh. you should leave them to their own detriment. That's, I see, yeah. yeah. Here you help the enemy exactly. Once again. Exactly. I, I, as soon as I made that move, I realized that was a mm -hmm. dumb move. Yeah, become okay. easier. For, exactly. For yeah, to play this correct. Position. Now the game actually is a 
it's so more, more equal. More or less equal, okay. Yeah, equal okay. at this point. So whatever advantage you had earlier, it's gone. Exactly. Yeah, air, so. you're right. <laughs> And, and like you said in chess, the point is to kind of gain those tiny advantages and tiny, build upon them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Did I skip a move here? Hold on. Uh, let me go back really quick. Uh, no, you took, and then we're still thinking, still thinking. Okay. Yeah, queen d3. It's queen d3. The idea is a battery. So exactly, yeah. And I think you helped me out here, right? I think you, yeah. It's funny, I had a feeling you would do that for some mm -hmm. reason. And then, but then you develop a lot of pawns on this side, so that's yeah. your, yeah. That's your advantage there. Um, well, I'm not afraid to play to push the bishop around because the absence of the dark square bishop on g5 uh, has given me that uh, knight on f6 defending h7. And the reason why I drove away that uh, bishop is for me to play rook e8. But there, here I play g6 to just prevent whatever. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, you have the knight protecting too. Yeah, but, but you know, sometimes it's always good to we overprotect. All overprotect. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just to rule out any tricks in yeah, the position. Makes sense. You never know, especially in a blitz game. But in the long game, I think those uh, g6 is not needed. Mm -hmm. But okay. then again, you let go of your darks for a bishop. It's suddenly. Correct. Oh, and there's the rookie one that you wanted mm -hmm. me to play like 10 moves ago. <laughs> yeah. Quite late. Yeah. And now we see here the, the d5 will fall into a black's hand and slowly, and then the, the yeah, game will be exactly. decided when that pawn. Balls. Exactly, yeah. I was dreading when this pawn would fall. I thought I would have enough time, but yeah. Now, now, do you think, um, I think, which is a better square, here or here, for the knight to reroute to? Here I could trade it off, right? I mean... Well, if you play knight e4, I play knight takes d5, but yet, it still, that's the best move in the position, so mm -hmm. that you can have, uh, for example, knight, after knight e4, knight takes d5, that's correct. Oh, that's what I did, yeah. And after knight takes pawn, uh, you, you can start playing knight g5, just what you did in the position, but then the absence of the bishop. Uh, it's difficult now to create any threats. Yeah, the absence yeah. of the dark square bishop is very important in this yeah, position. I gave it away too easily. Yeah. Too early. Yeah. So yeah. now we have to find other plans. And uh, knight f4 is a very serious threat that is, you know. Bishop b3 is a good move, avoiding the knight f4 idea, but I'm still going there. Mm -hmm. See, thanks to my dark square bishop, there is no knight f6 check and stuff like that. Okay, here the game starts to become very interesting. Mm -hmm. The queen e3 and knight f4, I was thinking of uh, what continuation I have in the position. You have plans of uh, penetrating on h6, yes. and knight g5. Uh, these are these plans are dangerous in this <laughs> position with, that, with the bishop wrongly placed on e7 instead of g7. So here, I think I have to do something with the knight on g5 and block the bishop, and that that's uh, what I did d5, okay. mm -hmm. and allow the capture of f4. But then I get e4. Remove one of you, one of pair of the knight, one pair of knights. The, of the knights, yeah. Yeah, the knights, and then you, the queen h6 idea is not as strong. As you know. But now you have a fresh idea of f7 weakness. Uh, I'm hitting here three times, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Queen. Uh, I think my move here is force bishop f6. And then here I see a good a tempo, tempo move, exactly, you know? yeah. So you give me some problems here. I mean, I run for my money. <laughs> <Everybody. laughs> After the force, probably queen e seven. And yeah, you took some. Of, you took some time. You okay. have plenty of time here. I'm, I'm like down on time. I have nineteen seconds. I have to, uh, <laughs> the position is still sharp, and mm -hmm. you need to be careful in this type of a scenario. Queen e seven is forced now, after knight g four. I had a tactic right here. I realized this after analyzing this. Why not knight here? And I pick up either a bishop or a rook, right? Because I'm forking your... Correct, that's what I was afraid of, but uh, I had to allow it. Knight d7 was... Uh, hold on, let's see. But I didn't play that yet. Yeah, oh, knight d7 could have... Uh, give Picked you, up a piece, right? At well, least. Gained the material. Yeah. Because you had to have sacked your rook, right? Because... I have to let go. The yeah. But then, but then it's not really because you could bring it over. Knight d7, bishop takes b2 was my intended move. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Rook takes f8, rook takes f8. Rook takes. 
and, and I will yeah. try to bank on my pawn on e4 to create and the two bishops. Ah, I so see. It's still unclear, but I still uh -huh. prefer white in such position, of course. Okay. Then you gave me a second chance here. Maybe the lack of time. Well, let's <laughs> My brain turned to like mush. Oh my goodness, it's so embarrassing. <laughs> no, <laughs> oh you did goodness. your best. Like yeah. what you said, this was your best blitz game against me. I mm -hmm. agree. There were several times that I have, I could have given you a chance to. What did you think of this move? Well, that move. Because um, you can't take off sun, right? Because yeah. capture mm -hmm. the sun because of the pin. Again, you are very good in giving your opponents problems. Problem. Yeah. <laughs> Not I, enough for I you. I <laughs> encourage it to, to all my students to do that. Mm -hmm. it, it's time, con, con, it's confusing, it's, you know, it, it costs the opponent to think, mm -hmm. it's problematic, it's disturbing, and all these things. Now, now, is it true what they say that the king is always safest in the corner? Is, Correct. That, is that okay? That's a true saying, all right. Mm -hmm. You don't want to go out in the open yeah, yeah. you find yourself in a crossfire. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh man, I don't want to watch the rest of this game. <laughs> well, here, uh, your bishop on b3 is really doing a wonderful exactly, job. Exactly, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, it's black to move it as a problem of where to put this uh, bishop that's under attack. I can't move the rook on f8 just easily because of the knight h6 check and picking up f7 and things like that. So. Okay, I believe there maybe not h6 immediately to avoid this move. Now you okay, and here is where my brain starts. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. So you are, <laughs> and I knew it would take. I was just playing on time here. And, mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, this is horrible to watch. Okay, I, I got a funny thing to tell you. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Right there, that move. Okay, like a couple seconds before I made that move, I thought, okay, let's try this, and then I realized it was mate. But you know, I still did it. <laughs> so st That's like a teenager brain. You know, well, you know, doing something is wrong, but you still do it. You know, like well, oh my god, you just have to do something this last yeah. so oh my god. Game all the way. So what were the oh problem? What were the problems? Yeah. The so problem, mm -hmm. you, you want to go back? Okay. Yeah, you were given a, an opportunity when you played. Uh, this like, move was bad. B5. That's, oh, here? It's not a blunder, oh, it's uh -huh. not a mistake. It's just a mistake. mistake but it spells uh -huh. uh, a lot of trouble for you. Mm -hmm. True. Because the true. bishop is very strong. The correct move here is rook, rook e1. Rook e1, okay. Rook e1, rook got e1 it. e1, forcing mm -hmm. black to castle, and then you will see now that the bishop on d3 is wonderful. And you can start got dreaming it. of all kinds of sacrifices. <laughs> yeah, so. exactly. And, and also the bishop trade right here, right? The uh, bishop. This game uh -huh. uh, reminds me of a game of uh, Karsten Hoy, I believe was white against Boris Gulko in the 19, uh, I believe 1990 Olympia. And uh, here as white, Ahoy produced an immortal game. Oh, really? One day uh -huh. I will show this, maybe next time. Oh wow. I will show the game Ahoy Gulko mm -hmm. become his only immortal. I mean, you never heard about this I guy. I never heard about this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. After beating the US champion at the time, Boris Gulko, he's, he's, he, wrote his name on <laughs> and forever in the annals of chess. Wow. So, uh -huh. so it's a similar to mm -hmm. I'll show you it maybe next time. Mm -hmm. That's so cool. Okay. So very good um, game. Yeah, very good. Congrats. Thank you for so the game. Here, what should mm -hmm. we learn? Uh, when your pieces are posted properly. Don't find, move them from there. Yeah. Them. Mm -hmm. Find other pieces to join the attack. Correct. Mm -hmm. You know. The uh, rooks they strike for open files, knights are well posted, bishop are well posted in diagonal. So there's really no reason to move the minor pieces. It's mm -hmm. these heavyweights that needs to be Got it. the tanks. The tanks, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The tanks, okay, cool. Good Thank game. you. Thank I think you so you're much. You're on your way to uh, class A. <laughs> class soon. A, also. awesome, awesome. Yeah. Thank Anything you so much, everyone, and please. Uh, Continue to watch our video and uh, YouTube video under Los Angeles Chess Club. And if you want to, um, you know, get taught by Ruben, then go to his website discover-chess.com, right? Yes. And that has all his information. And he also teaches over Skype too, right? Yes. So, yeah. That's, uh, so for those of you who don't live in LA, that's definitely an option for you. Okay. Thanks, guys. Hope you like this video, and um, we will see you later. All right.